What's good, people? Happy Sunday. So let's talk about steps to making big money as a trader. So I've been trading for about 10 years now, and in the earlier years, I went about trying to make, quote-unquote, big money the complete wrong way, right? Taking big risks relative to my you know, account, always trying to hit home runs, right? Always trying to catch the very bottom to the very top. Not so much a focus on actually trading well, right? But just trying to always force the issue in the pursuit of the big money. You know, over time, guys, as I've grown as a trader, what I've learned is that, you know, the steps to making big money, first and foremost, is to master a setup. You know, if you're going to trade, you know, full time, part time, if you're going to trade, you got to treat it like a business, right? And I'm a big believer, guys, in mastering a setup and then focusing on nothing but your setup. Also want to focus on executing the setup the same every time. And then GYP, get your piece. And then guys, you just slowly scale into bigger sizes as your account grows, right? Everything in trading as far as how much you can make on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis should be relative to your account. You know, where the problems come into play is when a new trader opens up an account with a thousand dollars or so and is already trying to make a couple thousand dollars a week, right? You're really forcing the issue. So, you know, the whole focus of this video, guys, is to kind of show you that, you know, modest moves caught with good size and consistently can ultimately create some serious gains, right? On a daily and weekly basis. And you can do so without that need for the home run mentality. All right, so for me, guys, it's all about consistency and repeatability. Personally, and again, this is all relative. So remember that any kind of goals or aspirations we have as far as, you know, weekly, monthly profits, they should be appropriate relative to your account size. So a trader with fifty to hundred thousand dollars of capital should have much different goals than a trader with five hundred to a thousand to ten thousand dollars of capital. So given my personal circumstances, guys, my quote unquote goal is to average about ten thousand dollars a week. Ten thousand dollars a week, fifty trading weeks in the year is about half a million dollars a year. Right? That's a obviously a lot of money. But the thing is Right? And if you're a new trader, you really got to understand this, is that that can be accomplished when it's realistic relative to your account size. Right? In my aspiration, guys, of making five, dollars $600,000 a year, I'm not approaching the market with this home run mentality. Right? I'm not approaching the market with the thought process that I got to size into this move and I got to put that risk on the table and this trade better work, otherwise I'm shit out of luck. For me, guys, it's just more so mastering a setup focusing on nothing but that setup, trying to trade it the same exact way every time, and then getting my piece of the move. And then of course, as your account grows, as your position sizes grow, so do those profits. So in the spirit, guys, of this conversation, right, I'm going to show you guys my thinkorswim account from last week. All right, now I go Friday to Friday, so you're looking at August 21st to last Friday, which was the 28th. Mind you guys, I traded nothing but the squeeze setup. On different time frames, of course, but the entire focus was and is going to continue to be nothing but my go-to setup, which is the squeeze in which we got plenty of videos here on the channel. So you can see, guys, over the last week, closed about $7,000, $7,180 of profit doing nothing but trading the squeeze. All right. What I think is a little bit more important, though, guys, is over the last you know week or so, look how much capital I put to work. All right. Put to work about $90,000 plus dollars. So... $7,000 of profit in a week sounds awesome, right? That sounds like a huge week. But what I want to show you guys is that, to be honest with you all, if I had to give myself a grade, you know, how did I trade last week? I kind of give myself a B. You know, well, I closed $7,000. Had I held on to a couple of those moves a little bit longer, we're looking at 20 plus thousand dollars. But nonetheless, guys, $7,000 is nothing to be upset about, you know, at least not in my world. But the whole thing here is that, you know, to go back to the uh, you know the steps here, mastering a setup, focusing on nothing but that setup, treading it the same way every time, and then getting your piece. And of course, guys, your piece gets bigger and bigger as your account grows. So if you kind of look at these numbers here, right? Nothing but the squeeze setup. And all I did, guys, was get a really modest piece of each of those moves, right? Now on those squeezes, I was risking anywhere from $2,000 to ten, twelve thousand dollars But the point is, guys, I put $90,000 to work and closed about $7,000 of profit. That is just about an 8% return on capital, which I want you guys to kind of put that into its perspective. I didn't make $7,000 by forcing big position sizes into a trade and trying to milk the whole move and exiting at the top. 
all I was doing, guys, is finding nice, simple squeezes, right? Just like this NVIDIA two-hour squeeze, right? We come into Friday, we had a two-hour squeeze and a four-hour squeeze here on NVIDIA. I jumped into that move, guys, with about four to four and uh, four thousand five hundred dollars and I just got about a 25% return. It was about a $1,200 profit. It's my go-to setup. I took a position size that's very appropriate relative to the capital available. And I didn't catch anywhere near the full move, guys. I think I got out of this bad boy at 522. It would have been a much bigger trade had I held, but it doesn't matter. Because when I'm waking up every morning and I'm putting together this spreadsheet that you guys and girls in the Focus Trades group know we look at every morning, this is my go-to setup. So I want to master this setup and I want my focus to be on nothing but this setup. So every morning I'm coming into the market, I run in my scans, I'm putting nothing but the best setups, my go-to squeezes on my spreadsheet here. And then I'm literally sitting here, guys, waiting to take action on my go-to trades. So we've got Peloton right here. That got thrown onto the watch list. Daily squeeze is firing. So we're releasing just shitloads of energy here big time move and then before the close on Friday we go into a beautiful 15 minute squeeze so I jumped into there with some calls you know this is much like the trade a couple of days ago in CRM CRM guys explodes on earnings pumping like crazy you get a short break in the action with the squeeze here jumping into that on the 27th really quick trade before the close for a good seven eight hundred bucks and again that was about a 20 25 ish percent return so you know, you look at this, guys, right? None of these trades were home runs. None of these trades, you know, that I put in more size than I needed to. And they were all very modest returns. I think my biggest return percentage-wise this week was about 38%. Right? So on paper, guys, when you look at percentage returns and you, you look at the charts and the moves I caught, nothing was crazy, right? I left a lot of money, a lot of momentum on the table, but nonetheless, by simply focusing on my go-to setup, focusing on trading at the same every single time with appropriate position sizes and then getting my modest piece, that resulted in 7,000 bucks last week. Now, if your account, guys, is not the size of mine, and you can see I put in $90,000 of capital, right? Not at once. Like I said, some trades I'm risking five, some trades I'm risking 10, 12. Usually got one or two trades open at a time. But nonetheless, guys, right, this should at least hopefully motivate you you know, if you do have that home run mentality to kind of ditch that, you know, you can realistically and consistently get to that point where you're making $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, $7,000 a week when it's appropriate given your account size, right? When you can appropriately and comfortably put on position sizes that will give you those kinds of dollar returns just by catching nice modest moves, you know. So I didn't trade all that well this week, guys, as far as, you know, what I really lacked this week was patience. And it's this whole debate, right? You know, had I held on, it would have been a bigger week. At the same time, I caught modest moves, had no stress this week, and made 7,000 bucks, right? So it's kind of that back and forth constant battle between being content with what you accomplished. But for me personally, guys, it's just that pursuit of always wanting to get better. But nonetheless, right? I give myself a grading of a B last week, could have executed much better. So you guys can see how my kind of, you know, weekly goal here of about $10,000, it's realistic. If I had ten, twenty thousand $20,000 of capital, it's a much different story. I'd have to take much bigger relative risks. I'd have to hold on to trades so much longer, right? Hunting for those home runs. Not the way to go about it, guys, in my opinion, right? Now, the good news is if I can average this, then on a big week, right, when I catch a really big move or for whatever reason I hold on to a move a lot longer, then that puts me in the category or, you know, 15, 20 ish thousand dollars, which is awesome. But my goal, guys, is just consistency at this point. So that's my opinion. That's my advice. Wherever you are in your trading journey, keep the long run in mind, right? Whatever your account size is now, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to make the money you're wanting to make when your account is five, 10 times bigger. So instead of that home run mentality, right, trying to catch these big moves, just trying to force the issue and force the process and rush the process, focus on mastering a setup, which can take years alone, right? Focus on executing that setup the same way every single time and get your piece of the move. You don't got to eat the whole pie, just get your slice of it. And as you scale, as your account grows, 
so do those dollar profits. So that's it for this video, guys. But hopefully those are some good insights. I mean, there's a lot of traders here on YouTube, a lot of them posting some pretty impressive gains. But as I was coming up as a trader, the missing piece was always, you know, how much are they putting the work to make the 5000 the $10,000 a week, right? The five ten thousand dollars $10,000 a day. Hopefully this guy gives, uh, gives you guys a little bit better sense of, you know, it's all just kind of modest, but it's all relative. So I love you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you aren't in the Focus Trades group yet, guys, go ahead and make that $10 a month investment in yourself and come trade with us for a couple of weeks, right? Morning prep every morning, live trading sessions. We've got the video library, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all in there.